Hi, and welcome to How to Work Out. Today, we're going to be showing you the five basic steps it takes to get a good, full-length, um, muscular body. So first, we're going to talk about the attire. You want to wear, make sure that you're wearing some sort of tank top, um, a jersey will work, um, some shorts with some paint on it, uh, very painty shorts, and some socks and sandals. This is very key to working out. And you also want to make sure that you have your hair high up, out of your face, completely, so that you can look like Bam Bam from Flintstone, exactly like that. So join us as we show you how to work out. So the first step in making sure that you have a body of masculine and muscular portions is to look at the body of a human. And over here we have the, the little spine area. That part is going to be very influential in how you're going to work it out. Because if you don't work out the spine, then the rest of your body can't move and function as it should. So you want to make sure that when you're, you're, you're working out, you work the spine. This is the spinal area right here. You want to work it out, okay? So there are three basic uh, body types of body parts that are important when you work out the most important ones. Okay, so first is the spine, which is right around this area. And the second is the palm of the hand. And the reason for this is that when you're using the exercise equipment, if you can use it correctly. And so it's, remember the spine, the palm of the hand, where this area right here, and then the last part is the calf muscle. Now, a lot of you probably expect this, because I love calves, but it's very true. Because your calves hold your entire body up. This area right here, if you go like this, all that, that's your calves. When you're holding yourself up, if you fall off a cliff, and you get back up again, that's your calf muscle. So these are not only important in exercise, but in daily life and troubles. So remember the spine, the palm, and the calf. Now those are the three basic functions of the body that are most important. But before we move on to our second step of working out, I need to share a little bit about the larynx, which is in your throat. The larynx is very important because it causes you to have the ability to sing when you're working out. Because if you don't sing and you work out, you're going to be a very unhappy working out person. So make sure that you get the larynx in there and that you think, remember, spine, palm, calves, larynx. Spine, palm, calf, larynx, okay? That's how you remember. You can make an allegory or whatever it's called, a methodical mythocrim. I don't remember what it's called, but you know what I mean. The uh, anachronism, that's what it is. Anachronism for spine, palm, calves, and larynx. So in order to work out your spine, I have chosen a very specific trained ab workout. So if you'll come closer, what you're going to do is you're going to lay down and you want to make sure that your spine is flat with the ground. When you do this ab workout, this is called the bicycle, this, okay? So you're going to pretend like you're riding a bicycle like this, okay? Just like this, and you want to make sure that your spine is touching the ground. Ow. When you're on mission, you got to sing while you do it to keep yourself happy. And then when you finally do as many as you want, you rest, take a few breaths, and then do it again. Bicyclist, just like this. Okay, that's the spine workout, ladies and gentlemen. So the next part of the most important body body function is the palm. Now the way you work out the palm, I have chosen your trampoline, but you can do whatever you want. You can use a trampoline or a trampoline. Um, I would just say to use a trampoline, okay? And this is one of the littler trampolines, okay? So in order to get your palms really strong, I mean, I hear guys have a thing for strong palms, but I don't know. Okay. So when you're working out the palm, you want to make sure that you cut this trampoline into three sections. One, two, three. You want to do the one third of the section, and you're going to put your palm on it, and you're just going to do this, okay? This helps your palm become masculine and muscular as you work it like this. And then you can switch on the one fourth side of the trampoline, and then you can do both. You can do the bouncing, which is what we call in our class. You can do one, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, two. This really works out your palms. Oh, thanks for that point. It's good practice for CPR. So not only does exercise help you get stronger, it helps you learn life lessons. CPR, do, 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 That is the palm workout, ladies and gentlemen. So the third step in having a good workout routine is your diet. You want to choose healthy snacks while you're working out and after. So I've got some things here, some unsweetened organic coconut milk that helps your body fluidge. I've got some organic pumpkin seeds. These are very helpful, especially for your larynx. I've got some baby spinach, which is very good. And I'm just going to show you what it tastes like. So we're just going to taste some of this. It's very good. 
<laughs> Burger Sprint. Very good. Um, and I've got some garlic here. This is also very helpful to your body. Just in different ways, you know, especially your cats. Sometimes I like to take it and rub it on there, just like that, and it's a good sensation feeling, and um, it's very, very good for them. I got some bananas, the one exception to sugar, because if we're going to cheat a little, might as well have some fruit on you. Come on. And then some white jasmine rice. This, you want to make sure that it's jasmine. Very, very healthy for every part of your body. And so, that's your diet. So the reason we're about to use the treadmill is for conditioning. Now, it is very helpful in every area of your body to get it flowing, get the blood flowing, and especially for a beginner, you're gonna wanna start out in a very slow speed, okay? Especially if you're a beginner. You start at slow speed for a beginner, okay? Very slow speed, okay? Make sure you're going very slow for a beginner, especially for beginners. You wanna go very slow, just like this. That was the treadmill workout for today. Uh, if you're a beginner, make sure you go at the exact same speed. You know, enough is never good enough. That's how you should push yourself. So now we're taking a break and we're taking time to eat a healthy snack. So, um, get some pie. So the fifth and final step of our entire workout is calf raises. This is possibly the most important thing that you could ever do in your entire life. It helps every part of your body and it will help you in everyday life. So you can use weights to apply to your calves as you're raising them, but we don't have those. So we're just gonna use a simple watermelon. Funny watermelon here. And we're just gonna do 160 a day because 160 a day keeps the hairs away. Two. Reps of 40, guys. So four reps of 40. Eight. I can't do this anymore. No, Brian. No, no, no. 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 no don't do it. No! So that was our workout video. Hope you guys enjoyed and um join us next time on these how to videos. I'm ladies and gentlemen. Don't try this at home.